Guys, welcome to Mike's RC Corner, and thanks for tuning in to this episode. This episode, we got the new Double Toys Mini Crawler here, and it's all about this. Climbing vehicle. Climb a mountain bravely. Stay tuned for this unboxing and running video. So here we are guys and we got the new vehicle it shipped in and it's the regular fare and uh, this came from AliExpress and it was actually shipped quite well, it was bubble wrapped and in the gray, ba gray bag of death, a lot of people love it when I call it that. Um, of course this is the uh, 24 scale truck here, apparently you have to be 14 or older to drive it. So we'll just go over quick here, what it says, we got the one. 30 size magnet motor okay independent suspension chargeable battery we got lights over here it shows the radio and this is partly the reason why I like this one a lot is it seems to come with a pretty good radio uh, not just uh, cheap little plastic things that you get here 124 scale four-wheel drive and then over here it has a motor yay we have a server <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> are we uh, connecting a bunch of computers to this thing that we need a server it they mean a servo of course uh, Chinese lost in translation to English we got rubber tires thank goodness thank goodness for rubber shocks and mobile phone holder phone isn't included what Let's throw this back all right and a lithium battery so guys I'm gonna take this out of the box and we'll see if it all comes in after that, we'll give it a good little test. All right, get rid of that, and we'll get rid of that. And this is what we got. So guys, here we go. And we got ourselves a little manual, and standard fare, Double L Toys does generally do pretty good uh, deal with their manuals, all the exploded parts and all that kind of stuff. So that's exciting to see, so you know that at least there's part support. So all the part numbers are in the back and uh, I have a video on <clears throat> where to get double toy parts for you might want to check that out on the channel of course we get the rinky dinky USB charger here charge off the uh, balance plug we got a tiny little Phillips so we know it's got Phillips hardware radio is pretty good radio looks good looks like we get the on off switch there we have throttle trim here we have a reverse button there and in the front we have the cell phone holder I really don't know why we're holding the cell phone hello hi buddy and uh, of course for those guys who like to one hand uh, steer and film their videos with their other hand or whatever this is the radio they're gonna like and the foam feels great and it's a good size and of course here on the bottom you throw in the batteries pretty standard fare but that's a decent stock radio I might add so already taken off the body clip here and um, if this tips back yes it does and it tips back far enough that it doesn't come crushing down on your hands and inside is typically what you'd see the smaller motor not 180 130 but I'm sure you could probably upgrade that uh, we have a battery here that's not plugged in and it's uh is it supposed to be like that it is supposed to be like that it looks weird and that gives us a 2s battery which is interesting because a lot of these mini crawlers are 1s and the frame here is metal but the linkages are plastic of course bouncy shocks we got led bar on the top and we got like these searchlight type things we got I'm sure headlights there Looks like some more lights in the bumpers. We got tail lights, I believe. If you turn left or right, the tail lights and the signal lights go on this. Not my favorite thing. <laughs> Other than that, yeah. And ESC receiver combo in the back. So a lot of weight in the back. Not necessarily a good thing. So you want to probably add weight in the front. But all the LEDs are all stringing through the body. I like that it rocks back and holds here. You don't have to worry about crashing on your hands. Easy to access in only one body clip, which is nice. Here on the front with those tiny little R clips. 
I wish they sent a couple more because these things can just spring off and uh, you're done. And uh, hopefully you got some more on hand. I have lots, but if you don't own as many RCs as I do, it could be a problem. So guys, I'm going to charge up this battery. Uh, looks like we might be getting a thunderstorm soon. No. I got some other things to do. I'm going to do the running video shortly after this unboxing at another time. But you won't know it. I'll put it all together in this video. So we're going to head to that part next. All right. Okay guys, so we're down to the running portion of this video and thanks for sticking with us here and uh, just wanted to show you what this thing looks like. Uh, we're getting into dusk hours here the next day, yeah, but we can tie this all together. Um, awesome LED bar, the search lights, headlight, and we got the, um, the signals, lights going, and uh, they also go on in the back. Uh, this thing is a little bit top heavy and the weight is uh, tends to be distributed more towards the back so we're not going to expect this to crawl as good as some of the other crawlers um, but let's get this thing on the ground and see how it goes as you see it definitely has a lot of body roll and I don't mind that to some extent but it, it could be a little top heavy as it is a bit of a hard body and uh, that's going to cause that but it's fairly bumpy here a lot of crabgrass is grown into the spot here with the hot muggy weather and some thunderstorms and uh, the grass just grows like crazy here so we're getting this thing onto the crawler course as it bounces along let's see if we can get over here and have a look and up it goes and so far so good now the tires are quite soft and uh, one thing i also will mention is that this thing seems to be really fast off the hop a lot faster than a lot of the crawlers this size but it's got some real pep to it and i think that is due to it being 2s this is a 2s battery in here so we're gonna aim this up and drive this back on here perfect so far i'm pretty impressed um i think maybe the downhill part here we'll try and take it out oh, oh. <laughs> i'm impressed crashola yeah well, let's take it up and see. Um, there's a big side hill right here. So we're going to have to take that head on if we want to get up it. Well, yeah, I didn't think that was going to work. We're going to have to take it to a more gradual spot here. It may be a little slower. It won't. There we go. It definitely got a lot of body roll and there's no oil in those shocks of course actually I'm quite impressed how good it climbs up let's see if we can get out of this jam here let's see if turn this thing around and we'll take it down see if we can get her go down i think it'll roll on us a bit but we'll see see if we can manage it here definitely has some torque to it being to us so we're gonna see if we can line this up a little more straight it does have a good drag brake as you can see it stops once you get off the throttle it stops and let's take this down nice and slow you can really get it going slow which is kind of cool and i'm pleased with how it came down the hill there of course i had to baby it but that's part of the battle too like just right here that's tall crabgrass and it's really getting into it and it's cut there's a lot of grass lying on top of the grass it's snaky grass and it grabs into the small little rc um, that's my fault. The grass situation's kind of gotten out of hand here. It doesn't take long, a few days, and this thing is like a jungle. So, the tougher downhill will be over here on this side where we kind of got like this, this, the step down. Let's see. I'm not expecting it to do too well here, but it'll be worth to try. Anyways, the drag brake certainly helps. If we can keep those wheels planted. Let's see what it can do. We'll just take it really slow. Oh yeah, it's too heavy. 
that's too steep too heavy but we'll give it one more try we'll plant it right at the top it also kind of goes on the camber there on that side we're just gonna have to keep it slow oh, hey hey look at this look at that that is fantastic so the key was to keep it rolling and you can really like manage the speed on this thing really well it's got a lot of power at that low speed well we're gonna be sinking it oh yeah it's managing no 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 <laughs> let's see what we can do here see if we can take this up the hill it's a little back heavy maybe have to put some lead weight in the front uh, the battery weighs doesn't weigh as much as all the electronics that are in the back so yeah so let's see if we can get this here halfway up and see if it'll go now those ruts in between the boards are gonna cause this thing to fall backwards and it'll go because it's very heavy so but all in all really well and uh, I'll just demonstrate quick how fast this thing can go it really boots along that's quite quick for a mini crawler this thing goes like crazy for something that small and uh um it's interesting i don't think you'll ever drive it that fast if you're trailing maybe if you're a wide open trail it'd be kind of fun but um definitely the bare bones of this thing is really cool and there's a lot of potential here to work with to fine tune it and i think with the price point i think that's what's going to draw everybody in and uh, the modders are going to go to town on this you can take that roof rack off that tire off the back if you want add weight to the front move the electronics around i will say and one thing was also interesting is that the battery fits in the tray and there's nothing keeping it down just the body itself so when you put the body itself down it kind of presses down and keeps the battery in and the battery goes all the way to the ESC with its own little mini connector and plugs into the ESC um, that is also interesting too so guys double little toys uh, trail truck crawler I give it a pretty good thumbs up obviously it's got some CG issues but overall I'm pretty pleased and for what you get for what you paid awesome the radio is really good cell phone holder I think that's for other models that the double toys use it's not needed or necessary here but all good in the hood so thanks for tuning into this guys bit of a long video but thanks for sticking with it and I hope everyone's doing well and getting out to RC this summer peace take care and we'll see you soon on the next one all right let's go